Hi, I'm Stephen Stolte. I'm the Sustainability Coordinator for Daly City. And today we're going to answer the question, what do the numbers inside the recycling symbols on plastics really mean? So here in the city manager's office, we've been collecting plastics over the last few weeks, and we actually couldn't find examples of every single number. Um, so you might not actually encounter every type of plastic all that frequently in your own lives, but you'll probably encounter these. And here we'll start with plastic labeled number one. This is PET plastic, or polyethylene terephthalate. It's a clear plastic. You'll find it in all different types of bottles and little containers, uh, things that you buy that come in packaging that's labeled number one. Definitely recycle this in your blue recycling cart. Um, it actually gets remade into things like carpet, uh, filling for comforters, and even polar fleece. It will actually not be remade into bottles because there's actually a risk of contamination with PET. It can allow bacteria to accumulate. But anyway, it's a really common plastic and you'll encounter it a lot. Here we have number twos. This is high density polyethylene, and this is not clear. It's opaque. It's a little soap bottle, and we even have plastic shopping bags. A lot of them are number twos. In Daly City, to recycle bags, you want to put them all together in one bag, tie it off, and put it in your blue recycle cart, or take it back to the grocery store. We also have a plastic bag ban, but I know that you're probably still accumulating some plastic bags at home. Um, this type of plastic actually gets remade into containers for non-food items, pens, um, even fences and picnic tables. Okay, here we have a group of number fives. This is polypropylene. And, you know, cups and different types of food containers, things like that. Um, it actually will get remade into durable items like brooms, bicycle racks, and even traffic signal lights. So definitely want to recycle them. And here we have number sixes. This is polystyrene. So the most famous type of polystyrene is the foam type, commonly known as styrofoam. You can recycle this in Daly City now. Um, just put it in your recycle bin. However, it has to be this big kind of chunky type that comes with a new TV. It can't be the small styrofoam peanuts. That's actually just trash. But there's a lot of hard polystyrene products on the market now as well, like little tops of coffee cups and things like that, um, take out food containers, even utensils can be labeled a number six. If it has the number six, recycle it. So here's a few items that we just want to clarify what you can actually do and not do with them. Um, a yogurt cup, the bottom, recycle it. The top, even if it's metal, it's actually just trash. Um, here we have a CD case. You're probably not even using that many CDs these days, but this is actually hard polystyrene. It's not labeled number six, it's trash. This is a big one, straws. It's just trash, even though it's plastic. So just maybe not choose the straw when you buy a beverage the next time. And then finally, plastics like this, they're soft. They come wrapped around frozen entrees and things like that. It's just trash, unfortunately. Um, there are things you can do to reduce your plastic use, though. When you're shopping, shop the bulk aisle. You'll get better prices, and you'll reduce packaging. Um, choose products that come in cardboard instead of plastic. So think about pastas. You'll notice that a lot of them come in plastic bags or the cardboard boxes. Um, and avoid straws. Definitely avoid straws. And at home, you can also do some things too. When you're wrapping food or storing it, don't use plastic wrap or little plastic baggies. Go out and buy reusable containers that are either glass or, or plastic. As long as they're reusable, you can really cut down on the waste. Um, and one of the big take home messages today is that when you are in doubt about a type of plastic, recycle it. Because our recycling facilities use really sophisticated technologies to sort. And if it's actually not a recyclable plastic, it will be sorted out. But at least you're you know, getting into the habit of recycling plastic.